Capacitors in parallel circuits. Figure on the left shows two different capacitors with capacitance C1 and C2 connected in parallel to a battery of voltage V. As the capacitors are in parallel, they are going to have the same voltage V across their plate. That is, voltage across capacitor C1 will be equals to voltage across capacitor C2 equals to the battery voltage V where Vc1 and Vc2 are the voltages across C1 and C2 respectively. However, the charge across each capacitor will be different. Using the fact that the charge stored by a parallel plate capacitor is Q is equals to Cv, we get Q1 is equals to C1 times V and Q2 is equals to C2V. In order to determine the equivalent capacitance, C equivalent, we need to note the total charge Q stored by the two capacitors. That will be Q total is equals to Q1 plus Q2, replacing Q1 and Q2 with C1B plus C2V, and taking V as the common factor, we have C1 plus C2 multiplied to V, and C1 plus C2 is C equivalent V. This finding indicates that the capacitor with an equivalent capacitance of C equivalent equals to the sum of C1 and C2 can be used in place of two capacitors connected in parallel. In general, the equivalent capacitance is C equivalent is equals to capacitance of capacitor 1 added to the capacitance of capacitor 2 plus capacitance of capacitor 3 and so on which can also be written in short as summation i going from 1 to n c subscript i for any number of parallel capacitors capacitors in series circuits figure on the left shows two different capacitors with capacitance c1 and c2 connected in series to a battery of voltage V. As the capacitors are in series, they're going to get charged with the same amount of charge Q across their plate. That is the charge developed across the plates of capacitor C1 will be equals to charge developed across the plates of capacitor C2, which will be equals to the charge developed across each of them. Where QC1 and QC2 are the charges stored in C1 and C2 respectively. However, the voltage across each capacitor will be different. That is, the total voltage applied to the circuit will be equal to the sum of the voltages of the individual capacitors. V will be equals to the sum of voltage across C1 and C2. Using the fact that the voltage across a charged parallel plate capacitor is V is equals to Q over C, we get V1 is equals to Q over C1 and V2 is equals to Q over C2. Hence, V will be equals to V1 plus V2, which will be equals to Q over C1 plus Q over C2, equals to Q times 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, which is equals to Q over C equivalent. Thus, finding indicates that a capacitor with an equivalent capacitance of the reciprocal of C equivalent is equals to sum of the reciprocal of the capacitance of each plate can be used in place of two capacitors connected in series. In general, the equivalent capacitance is 1 over C equivalent is equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 and so on, which can be written in short as the summation I going from 1 to N 1 over C subscript I for any number of series capacitors. Problem number one. Determine the capacitance across AB. Now from figure, we observe that C1 and C2 are connected in series. So we're going to apply the equivalent capacitance formula and that should give us 1 over C12 is equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Substituting the values of capacitance, we get 1 over 5 microfarad added to 1 over 10 microfarad. 
and the sum gives us 3 over 10 microfarad when we take the reciprocal C12 is equals to 10 over 3 microfarad. The equivalent circuit is shown on the left figure. Here, C12 and C3 are connected parallel to each other such that the equivalent capacitance will be equals to the capacitance across the points A and B, which is the sum of the capacitance of C12 and C3. So we have 10 over 3 microfarad added to 4 microfarad and the sum is 22 over 3 microfarad which is the required capacitance across A, B. Problem number 2 A potential difference of 150 volt is applied across two capacitors of capacitance C1 is equals to 4 microfarad and C2 is equals to 6 microfarad connected in series. What will be their equivalent capacitance? From circuit, C1 and C2 are connected in series, so their equivalent capacitance will be 1 over C equivalent is equals to 1 over C1 added to 1 over C2. Substituting the values of the respective capacitance, we get 1 over 4 microfarad added to 1 over 6 microfarad, which gives us 10 over 24 microfarad. Taking the reciprocal, the C equivalent is equals to 24 over 10 microfarad or 2.4 microfarad. What will be the charge developed on each capacitor? The key idea here is the charge developed across each capacitor is the same as the charge developed across the equivalent capacitor C equivalent such that using the relation Q is equals to CV we obtain Q is equals to C equivalent times V substituting the values we have 2.4 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 multiplied to 150 and that gives us 0 0.36 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 or 0 0.36 millicoulombs. The potential across each capacitor will get divided into V1 and V2 where V1 is given by Q over C1 and V2 is equals to Q over C2. Thus, V1 will be equals to the equivalent capacitance 0.36 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 divided by capacitor 1 which is 4 microfarad and that gives us 90 volts and V2 will be equals to 0.36 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 divided by capacitance of capacitor 2 which is 6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 and that gives us 60 volts. 